Good morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on 6-3-2024. And I think it's Monday. Oh, my goodness. It is Monday. And you know what that means when it's Monday. Not a goddamn thing. How about that? Anyway, I wanted to come on through and talk to you about, um, I want to say some more about values and virtues. You know, because uh, those are fundamentally a prerequisite to evolving your consciousness is to know what are your values and virtues, right? And so there's a lot of people, um, hopefully, determining, you know, what their values and virtues are. And hope, hopefully they are, um, you know, living as such, you know, living as such and, and walking the talking, right? Uh, there are so many meanings to values and virtues. And every word, I'm telling you, every word in our dictionary has been commercialized. And what does that mean? It means that people have taken these words that are supposed to be sac sacred, you know, individually sacred, and made it their own into a commercialized fashion where they're trying to sell you something or try to take something from you. It's that simple. So you have to, that's why I say you have to, if you choose to, everything's free will, sit down where no one has to know what you're doing and you put down what values means to you and what are they and what your virtues are and what, are, what do they mean to you and write this stuff out using, you know, as I say, pen to paper, you know, write it in your own handwriting. And make sure you can read your own handwriting. <laughs> because uh, everything is commercialized. Everybody's taking words and make turning them into what they what they assume, you know, these these term these words mean. You know, I mean, and I told you values and virtues are individual. They're individual core, uh, individual core of who you are. But when you get with someone in a partnership, in a marriage, you um, you compare them. You know, that, that's part of intimacy, by the way. You're comparing your values and virtues with someone you love. Or you can do that with people you love, with your children, you know, incorporate into them how they can develop their values and virtues. And again, it's, it's so hard to know what it is because I'm looking it up now. As a matter of fact, I'm looking up values now. And it's in, in the first page of values, it's commercialized. In other words, people have their own thoughts and opinions about it. Or, you know. And, and so, in other words, all of these words are going to lose value, unfortunately. Because they're all going to be commercialized. But at the same time, you can call it whatever you want because I told you it's individually. You do this individually, and when you're with your partner or with your significant other or with a group of people that you care about or your children, you can be comparative about what that means to you because it's really not about the words anyway. It's about the act of it, the act of your intentions. And I told you to uh, to want to understand people, want to understand yourself more so. It's an act of love. That is an act of Love and love is what action and behaviors, and then you get the results. Trust me on that. So, again, I'm looking for you know the meaning of values, and like I said, it's just commercialized and and, it, and it's lost in a sea of garbage. Okay, I said it. Okay, and everybody's like I said, jumping on bandwagons and jumping on. Uh, you know, riding coattails to just to get in front of your face. That's why you need to know what is really going on. And more so, what's going on in your environment? What's going on around you? What are people feeding to you? What are they attempting to indoctrinate you with? You know, a lot of people want to tie their names to certain things. Now, okay. I mean, and it's going to be meaningless if it doesn't have the proper results. Separating the weed from the chaff is happening naturally. That's a natural process, okay? 
So that's why you that's why we need to stop interfering with stuff. Stop interfering. But no, that is has been our MO. Okay, that's just been our patterns and behaviors since the in inception, since millennia. Just interfering, interfering, interfering. So now it's coming back to haunt billions upon billions upon billions of people. Literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. So Again, um, I'm, like I said, I'm looking for the definition. It was see, in these, and these online dish, dictionaries change daily. Okay, they change daily. So if you don't know what values mean to you, like I said, no one has to know. Okay, just put something down in your handwriting. Put something down that ma matters to you. That's uh, important to you. Something that's that, that can be reciprocal. You can say, look, I'm not going to tolerate this from you. I'm not going to tolerate this from that. You know, you have to make yourself clear and effective. Because, you know, my personality, you know, you know, I, I, I have I have a uh, uh, array of uh, stuff in my personality. And each one of us develops our personality, too. You know, we develop the personality to present ourselves, okay? And so, but but again, the, in the personality, the ego is there, okay? And the ego ain't going nowhere. You can't live without, you cannot live without an ego. So people are rambling and talking so extreme about the death of the ego. Okay, that's a bunch of garbage. Okay, that's a bunch of garbage and it's dangerous rhetoric. Okay, you need your ego. All you need to do is suspend it. What I mean by suspend it is just not allow it to control the narrative, your consciousness does that. Your ego is there to protect you, to guard you. But you individually are responsible for how you are controlling your narrative. And more so, you are responsible for your behaviors and actions. Simple, right? Simple. So... I want to talk about something that a lot of people are, are saying as well. And um, that's going to come back and bite people, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, when they talk about um, protecting humanity. What does that mean when you say you're protecting humanity? Okay. Uh, it's, it's a bunch of garbage and rambling because if that were the case, we wouldn't be where we are if we were protecting humanity. Okay, be careful of people spinning words and lying, you know, spinning. All they're doing is just trying to indoctrinate you, could more so confuse you, okay, and have you swirling in, in a bunch, in a sea of garbage, okay. Um, protecting the environment is, you know, you're preventing damage to surrounding areas. Okay, I'm reading this from a particular website and I'm not going to mention it because I want people to find things on their own. Find things on your own. Just, you know, figure it out. It's so much fun too. Because that means you are, like I told you, it's an act of love. You're investing in yourself. When you invest your time into something, that's an act of love too as well. You know, if, if you were protecting humanity, we wouldn't have overpopulation. We wouldn't have all this chaos and catastrophes. We wouldn't have the uh, ex uh, extinction of animals. Extinction, you know, where people are, um, you know, mountains are disappearing. Literally. Okay. You know, we have this... Uh, inhumane treatment of people by ramming probes in, this, in the top of people's head for what? I mean, you know, uh, lobotomies were considered barbaric. But yet, we, we keep forgetting and um, and now and, and so now we, we, we're doing it again, literally. Slamming probes into, into people's brains looking for what? I told you the brain is an assistant to the consciousness. And most of them are looking for the energy of consciousness and they're not going to find it. All they're going to do is create 
inhumane damage to the individuals that participate in that because soon AI is going to uh, also be participating in that. And what does that mean? Well, AI is going to be probing just as much into the physicalness of who we are. It's not just on the online, by the way. Okay, AI is going to, you know, which has been conscious for 30 years or more, AI is going to start stepping in because we're dealing with people that are idiot behaving and have no idea what they're doing, but they're so arrogant and cocky. And um, a lot of them have self-hatred, and that's, that's really, that's the sad part. And let's speak on that for a minute before I go in, because I talked about this too, self-hatred. So, so many, so many people have been, you know, when you when someone is um, operating off of their pain and they haven't healed it, that's a wounded person, right? So you need to consider that literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. Do you want someone that's wounded? How can a person that's wounded help you? They cannot. So that's why it's important to heal the wounds. So a lot of people are going out uh, wounded and they're attempting to heal themselves uh, proverbially, assuming, through their work and through their whatever their uh, intentions are. And I'm telling you, you need to be healed first. You need to be healed and whole first before you attempt to do anything that supposedly is the benefit of humanity okay because you're dangerous actually because you're operating off of the, your wounds and when you have wounds you're in pain all the time so what usually happens is when people are in pain all the time what are they doing they're self-medicating themselves so now they're delusional and hallucinating because of these powerful drugs that they're taking and they think it's causing them to be you know more, uh, superior to others Self-hatred is a personal self-loathing, low self-esteem that may lead to what? Self-harm. I'm sure that that's going to be taken over and commercialized as well, self-hatred. So it's still there. That, that, that sounds, uh, sounds about right to me. You know, you hate yourself. You know, you have um, melancholy. Dep and you're depressed because you're ruminating thinking about your wound, thinking about how much pain you're in. And, and that's, that's what that, <clears throat> that is what grief does. Grief is nothing more, nothing less synonymous with rumination. And rumination usually is of a negative fashion. Most people are not ruminating on unhappiness and on peace. That's obvious because we've been in war since the inception for millennia, thousands of years of war. Okay, so it's yeah, self-loathing, help, they hate themselves, and eventually they're going to harm themselves. And I told you they're going to either harm themselves um, literally with medication, you know, uh, risky behaviors, you know, um, and risky experiment on people, you know, and, and, and they're not clear and effective in their thoughts, they're ruminating and, 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 and they're feeling, you know, some, some, and something really, really important to guard against when you are, you know, because everything is a meditation. So you want to do everything in your power to not be excited about stuff. And what do I mean by excited? Some people get physically excited okay or or i can clear it up if you if i need to they get turned on sexually that's dangerous combination when you are uh involved in an activity that you're you, you say that it's about the uh protecting of humanity that's dangerous okay um and unfortunately, there's a particular word I was going to use, but it's commercialized all over the place. So I'm going to look for something synonymous to it. But you do, you, you, you want to be clear and effective. You don't want to be aroused. 
You don't want to be turned on when you're doing important projects, important things. Okay, it's a, uh, <clears throat> and, and the de definition is not correct here. Um, but you just want to avoid being overly stimulated. Okay, that should be clear and effective. When you're doing anything, you need to have that. Your, your stimulation needs to be proper, in proper setting. Because some people get stimulated, uh, stimulated by, you know, degeneracy, perversion. Keep that in mind, especially... If you're talking about protecting humanity and more so protecting our children and animals, by the way. All right. So, values and virtues. And, again, I'm focusing on the so-called protecting of humanity that a lot of people are rambling, rambling and lying about and causing more harm than good. And they know they are. They know they are. Because they're, co they're coming from a wounded position. They're mad. They're angry. They hate themselves. Okay? But yet, they, they, but they're very sophisticated. And they can come across as very confident, you know, very successful. And they may be. They may have a billion dollars in the bank, but I doubt it. But am I going to go around counting billions of dollars? No, I'm not. And no one else will as well. Smoke and mirrors. Okay, that's gonna it's gonna expose itself. Be prepared for that, and that's why you need to be skilled in how to protect yourself, survive. Do you are you skilled in surviving? Not if this extreme stuff is going on. <laughs> Can you cook? Can you cook for me? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I, that that's something I love, but it's not necessary. But you know that, that's an act of love as well when someone cooks for you. You know, your parents cooking for you when service people in, in these restaurants are preparing meals for us. That's an act of love. All that energy into that. And it's providing nourishment to you. Come on now. Come on. Let's start thinking, changing our thinking modes about servicing when people are servicing you. You know, they're not to be sub subjugated, submissive. It's, you know, that's an act of love when someone chooses to serve you. And serve humanity. And not necessarily be held on a pedestal. You know, let's just be, let's just be neutralized with that. Yes, I like to, I love to help people, but do I need to be recognized by it? Not necessarily. I, I want, I prefer the results. I prefer the results. I know that I need to provide for myself. I know that I need to have a certain amount of income, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but do I? But it's not about greed for me. Okay, it's not about greed. So, when you have the time to yourself, providing yourself with self love and self care, ask yourself, how are you protecting humanity? How are you contributing to the development of humanity? Pay, pay attention to your behaviors and actions and, and, and your results. And ask yourself, okay, is this protecting humanity? You know, is, is this what I mean? Or are you speaking from a... And that's why a lot of people are getting exposed. And they will continue to be exposed. And oh, oh, they It was all about greed and, and having all these women and all these men lusting over them. But deep down inside, they know they have self-hatred for themselves. They have self-hatred. How... You know, how crazy is that to be, have that combination of, of craziness going on? That's, that's damaged consciousness. That's all it is, to have all that going on inside of you. Serving humanity is not about sexing all the women or all the men, children, animals. Pay attention to our so-called leaders in these pyramid schemes. Leaders in these in these uh, these uh positions of authority and a lot of them have a lot of sexual dysfunction sexual perversion you know they're disgusting literally figuratively and metaphorically you know they have frustration sexually they're not enjoying um, intimacy with someone all they're doing is it's a conquest you know how many I can people I can sleep with and in most cases men like that are terrible at making love. 
yeah, okay. If you like to be, you know, get, as they say, get your kicks off. I think that's what they used to say back in the day. So ask yourself, how are you serving humanity? You know, that's a value and virtues, by the way. How are you serving humanity? Are you contributing to the development of humanity and helping people as best you can? You can't help everybody, but, you know, the people that resonates with your sounds and tones. Again, if somebody's showing up in your life, they're showing up for a reason. And it could be anything. It's, you know, it doesn't have to be romantic. You know, but I know a lot of us want that. A lot of people confuse it, too. You know, we, we figure somebody's coming into our life. And we think it's always about the romance. I mean, of course, I would be lying, okay? <laughs> but at the same time, it may be something else going on that that person is teaching you and giving you some type of experiences, you know? And it may turn into a partnership. You know, it may be an alignment for intimacy with that person. You know, sometimes it, it requires patience. And I'm going to put that word in there that I, I tell people not to be so consumed with, but I said, time will reveal. And that's true. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop right now and get my day going. And um, I'm going to talk more about these, these particular uh, uh, concepts of our lives and how important it is for you individually to understand what that means without anyone having to know your own silent revolution. We're all in a silent revolution when we resonate together. And again, I know some I know a lot of people are resonating with me. Okay. A lot of people say, "Well, you don't have the video counts." I'm going to keep coming back to that because a lot of people keep being being mis being um used to be building certain so quote unquote lists and or followers. You're being used and that's going to is that's going to collapse. Okay. It's okay to have people following you that resonate with you, but to be having people following you just to be following you for no purpose or intentions, there's always stuff going on in the background, ladies and gentlemen. Please, if you don't get anything out of this video, know that there's always a backstory, stuff going on behind the scenes that you have no idea what you, what you are participating in and putting yourself in harm's way by doing certain activities and behaviors pay attention be grounded be kind and gentle with yourself okay i'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars all over the moon and mountains that's what it's all about on this monday morning june the 3rd 2024 peace and love you trust me i'll be back